right, so we're gonna hit up Trader Joe's and see what they have for fun. <laughs> $133.23, which I thought was a good deal because we do average about $180 for a family of two, me, the adult, and one 11-year-old preteen. So we do have a couple of items on here that are kind of extra, so that hyped up the price a little bit. So let's get into it. So over here for produce, we got three mangoes. They look so juicy and large. I also got jazz apples. If you've been here before, you know these are my favorite. And so far I can only find them at Trader Joe's. Um, we also got some bananas, the organic. I did get chicken, three chicken breasts for $6.74. I'm gonna put prices up um, as we go through this. I want to, in my next video, like what I eat in a week, I'm going to do a cold oven chicken and it's pretty cool because you can season each of these with three different types of seasonings to get three different flavors, which to me is a money saver. I also got this organic maple vinaigrette dressing. I did try to get fall type of items. Um, they didn't really have much. I was surprised, but we'll make do. I also got green beans because I love green beans. I've been addicted to them, so I picked up a bag. We also got Brussels sprouts, very fall. And this is cool because it's microwavable. I'm not gonna do that. I'll probably put them in the air fryer with bacon. Um, I got some Persian baby cucumbers love those these are so good because you don't have to peel them you can eat them with the skin on and that's delicious my daughter wants to try the trader joe's tomato basil marinara sauce uh, she tried it at her best friend's house and said she liked it usually she is a prego girl so we'll see how that goes and to go with that with that sauce um, she picked out the organic pasta quintet these are super cute. So the shapes are like little pinwheels and like macaroni and shells. Also, the extra items were the mochi. We got vanilla. Is that too bright? Vanilla. It's, um, you know, it's like a vanilla ice cream inside and then it's surrounded by that sweet rice dough, which is kind of like sticky and chewy. Mochi, it's like a Japanese type of dessert and we also got strawberry and vanilla i also wanted to go with some fall vibes and got the salted maple ice cream i've heard this is really good it's salted maple ice cream with salted maple flavored swirl yes please that'll be a good little midnight treat and then the kid also saw this instant boba kit brown sugar tapioca pearl drink mix vegan gluten-free ready in less than a minute yeah right this does come with four pouches so we have, if you watched my last grocery haul, I think there's like two more bobas left out of the kit that we got from Sam's Club. If you've never tried these, they're really good. My daughter loves these. The reduced guilt mac and cheese. So we got two of those for her to pop in the microwave. For produce, I got some great tomatoes, which I love. And I don't know, tomatoes with green beans is like peanut butter jelly. It goes so good together with like a fried egg on top. Yes, please. I've been craving zoodles. So, you know, you can spiralize zucchini squash. You could do sweet potatoes. You can spiralize a lot of vegetables. So that'll be on the what I eat in a week. I've been craving that. So I'm gonna spiral some of those. For some fall vibes, got one of these or three of these. 
Greek non-fat yogurt pumpkin flavor. The packaging is so pretty. I just love the colors. So that's gonna be good. And then, hey, let's get some eggnog yogurt to get me in the Christmas spirit. This is Greek whole milk yogurt eggnog flavor. That sounded really good. I just got one because I don't know if it's gonna taste as good as I think it's gonna taste. I also love sweet potatoes during, I love sweet potatoes period, but during fall, uh, I'm gonna make a nice sweet potato hash for breakfast. This will be fun to spiralize with the zucchini squash. I thought that would be tasty. Also, kale gives fall vibes. Definitely gonna make this this week. I love kale. So I'm thinking of a chicken, kale chicken salad with these yummy dried cranberries. These are so good because they're not like cran. What are they called? The cran? The other ones that are like full of sugar. These are like really just dried cranberries and that's it. So they're not as sweet, but they are sweet, but not like fake sweet. They're like high in fiber and a little better for you. Um, as far as produce, I got some smoked uh, hauling cheese. I love smoked cheese. So this is going to be great to go with this salad this week. It's going to give fall vibes. Um, I also got feta cheese to if I want to switch it up or this will go great with my sweet potato hash that I'm going to be making. Just went ahead and got some shredded cheese for tacos or, you know, grilled cheese sandwiches. They were giving out samples of this cheddar cheese spread. They were putting it on baguette, but I thought this would be good with just crackers. It is really good. It's made with Trader Joe's unexpected cheddar cheese, cranberries, Riesling wine and cinnamon. So it's very tart and sweet at the same time. It's like tangy, perfect, delicious. If you can get over to Trader Joe's and get some of this. You know, I'm a dip girl. I love all kinds of dips. I needed to re-up on some onion salt because I was out. They didn't really have any new seasonings. Um, you guys saw they had the clove, but I don't really need that unless I'm doing a potpourri, but I have everything to do a potpourri, which I'll show you guys in my next video if you don't know what that is. Also got some cheese tortellini as a dinner option for the kid. I re-upped on some peanut butter. Their peanut butter is really good. I just got a can of refried beans because I do like to make like tostada or throw this in a tortilla with cheese and just wrap it up and eat it. We saw the sugar cookie dough all butter. So we thought that would be fun to have on deck just for a sweet treat. We can roll them up, decorate them. They're always good to have on hand this time of year. If the kid has some friends over, this would be a fun activity for them to do if they're not too cool for that kind of thing. <laughs> I also needed to re-up on the peanut butter filled pretzel nuggets. Um, I am going to Sam's to get a couple of items uh, and I think they have these, but out of all the ones I've tried, I like the Trader Joe's bag the best. So these are good as a little treat at work. And then every year we get the pumpkin pancake and waffle mix. These are so good. The pancakes are so delicious. Very fall forward, cinnamony, clove, pumpkin-y. They're just really good. I do add brown sugar just to sweeten them up some more, but you really get that cinnamon, ginger, nutmeg flavor. These are so good. So if you've never had them, definitely pick them up. They, as you saw, they have a whole fall section at the bookstore, Trader Joe's. And then for some of our freezer staple items, I decided to try this, never had this. Uh, Trader Joe's Bulgur Pilaf with butternut squash and feta cheese. That sounds good as a nice side to go with some protein. And you can get your vegetables in with the butternut squash, which is a very delicious fall flavor vegetable. I also picked up, because these looked really good, colorful carrot coins. So it's a blend of lightly seasoned orange, yellow, white, and purple carrots. You know, they say eat the rainbow. All of these have different nutrient value. I've never tried these before, so that'll be fun. Looks delicious. We also re-upped on a staple, the chicken fried rice, which I always add more chicken to it because there's not enough chicken in this pack, but that'll be a nice quick dinner. And our other fave, the teriyaki chicken. This is so good. We love this with rice and seaweed. Beautiful to have in the freezer at all times. 
And one more is the mandarin orange chicken. Now I haven't had this. Um, a savory dish of tender battered chicken with mandarin orange ginger sauce. So I haven't had this, but I've heard really good things about it. So that's what we got at Trader Joe's. Next up, I'll show you the very light haul that we got from Sam's. Y'all, how could I forgot this? My coworker told me that I absolutely had to pick up these Trader Joe's dark chocolate sunflower seed butter cups. So I'll let him know that I picked them up and I'll let him know Monday what I thought. Okay, bye. And this is the very small haul from Sam's Club. I did just go in for the Lunchables. My daughter likes to take these for school. And it's a six pack. There's three extra cheesy pizza and then pizza with pepperoni. They're really good. I've actually taken them a couple of times for my lunch and they're actually quite delectable. Um, it's cheaper just to buy them at Sam's because it's, um, how much is it? $8.87 and then sometimes they're on sale, $2 off. So if I just buy them from Walmart most of the time they're out and they're like a dollar 62 or a dollar 92 or something like that they're like almost two bucks so I feel like it's a better deal to get them at Sam's I also like to get my nuts which I've talked about in previous videos this is the trail mix snack pack and it comes with the camp cranberry health mix and the omega-3 deluxe mix uh, were these on sale? They were not on sale today, but baby, what was on sale were my turkey sticks. I have not bought these in a while because they are pretty pricey. They're $14.38, but today they were $2 off. So I went ahead and picked them up. I love throwing these in my lunchbox as a snack. And they're turkey sausage sticks, which I prefer. And they're really just good. They're not super chewy or hard. So I like them a lot. You should try them. I also picked up some raspberries as a fruit for this week and y'all these are so good the mix the cherry mixed fruit cups um, they're in 100% juice I prefer these over the ones in sugar and in fake sugar but y'all I like to take these well it's my new thing is I like to take these and put them in cottage cheese and mix it up and it is so divine as a quick snack breakfast you gotta try it get this even the mandarin oranges in 100 juice are good too mixed in cottage cheese i also got the kids some flaming hot cheetos to go in her lunch box and then this was the impulse buy you know we love sparkling ice around here but they have the winter exclusive pack ah, i'm so excited so in here is sugar plum which i've never had Cranberry frost, which sounds like vodka should be added to it. And then the apple cider, which is so good. I randomly had the apple cider last holiday season. They had it at Big Lots, so I just bought one and tried it, and I love it. Now, it, it really tastes like a Martinelli's. It's very sparkling, and the only reason I impulse bought it was because these are usually the, what? how many is in here? 24 pack at Sam's is usually well, it's $15.98, but y'all, $3.50 off. That is a deal. I will let you guys know how they taste. Yum! And that's it. Thank you all for watching. Stay tuned for my next video so you can see what we eat in a week if you're interested. Thank you all for your support. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye-bye.